Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting video because today I am reviewing some hypoallergenic mascaras. So if you want to know what mascaras are out there that is safe and good for the eyes, then keep on watching. This is part two of my hypoallergenic mascaras. I will link my first video in the description box below or somewhere up here in the card so that you can watch that video, but it's one of my most viewed videos. That video came out last year or early last year, so I thought, you know what? It needs a part two, just in case. So I went on a hunt for more hypoallergenic mascaras and I found five of them that are really good. All of the mascaras that I'm gonna talk to you guys about has a claim that they are hypoallergenic, ophthalmology tested, safe on the eyes, and some of them might say safe for contact lens wearers. Mascaras have been a big problem for most people. Like some people just stop wearing makeup in general because a lot of the makeup products actually irritate their eyes. So hopefully these products are gonna work out for you guys. Just a disclaimer, I am not an ophthalmologist. I am not a dermatologist. I'm not a professional. But hopefully one of these mascaras are gonna work out for you. So if not, I also have my first video. You can check those out. Totally different set of mascaras that could work for your sensitive eyes. First off is by Pacifica. This is $16, guys, at Ulta. It is a Pacifica vegan collagen mascara love the packaging of all of the mascaras guys this has to be the one with the best packaging i mean hello my kind of colors purple and pink right this is vegan cruelty free and it contains plant-based collagen it has plant-based fibers that are supposed to give you the volume and the lengthening for your mascara so lots of good ingredients in this mascara according to this it is 100 percent glass bottle so glass packaging guys it's not one of those glass packaging that makes you feel afraid to drop it but it's definitely the heaviest of all the mascaras that i've tried today it is safe for contact lens wearers and it is ophthalmology tested here is the wand in case you are interested I love the wand. It has that hourglass shape. I wanted to love this. <laughs> I really do. If I were to rate this, it is one out of five in the volumizing category, one out of five in the lengthening. It is smudge proof, so it doesn't flake and it barely holds a curl. For my eyes, for my lashes and you know everyone's lashes is the same how they grow and extend out is different for everybody if you have hooded eyes that's gonna affect how your lashes are gonna you know curl and all of that so mine my lashes tend to droop downward and the longer it is throughout the day just keeps falling and falling so it's very hard to please me so with that said you know what doesn't work for me might work for you so definitely still give it a try because it has good healthy ingredients what i noticed was that this mascara was super hydrating um, you know how sometimes you're like applying mascara on your eyes and you feel like you got some of the product inside your eyes. Sometimes they start to sting or you just know, oh, I wish I could wipe that off kind of feeling. This one did not. It felt like water on the eyes. It felt very hydrating. Like I really love this. I would say out of the five that I'm going to talk about today, it's one of the most gentle on the eyes. If you already have like long lashes and you know, a lot of the mascaras work for you anyway, get this. For me, however, you know, of all the mascaras I've tried, there's probably one or two that actually wows me. And that's just how it is. It's just hard. It's hard for my eyes because I've got short lashes and they barely curl up. But some mascaras that don't work for me actually works amazing on somebody else. So it just depends on the person. So guys, don't cross this off your list. Give it a try because I feel like this is one of the most gentle mascaras for the eyes. This one, guys, is not new. I mean, it's always been there, but I think it just doesn't get the hype that it deserves, right? This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. 
So the packaging is beautiful, super luxe. I love it for L'Oreal brand. My favorite mascara from L'Oreal is of course the Lash Paradise, okay? But this is not safe on the eyes. I mean, it doesn't irritate me at all, but it probably won't work for people who have more sensitive eyes. It's $10.99 at Ulta. Again, pricing can vary depending on the store, like between Ulta and Walmart. This is also collagen infused, just like the Pacifica one. It is very long lasting and waterproof. It is ophthalmology tested, safe for sensitive eyes, safe for contact lens wearers. So a lot of great claims with this mascara. Claims to be clump free, smudge free, so it stays on long. What I like about this is apparently there's a built in wiper inside this mascara tube that helps dispense just the right amount of mascara onto the bristles. Not gonna like have a lot of like goopy material on the bristles. This is what the bristles look like. So as you can see, you don't see a lot of clumping or a lot of products in there. I would say of the five mascaras, this is my second most favorite, guys. So if you can find this in stores, definitely get it. I would say it's not as volumizing. I would give it three out of five. Lengthening though, oh my gosh, definitely four out of five, four and a half to almost five. It is smudge proof, so no flaking right there because it is waterproof. And a lot of the mascaras that work for me are actually waterproof because waterproof mascaras kind of harden a little bit and retain the curl more. So if you have Asian hooded eyes, shorter lashes like mine, I think this is gonna work really well for you. The only thing is I don't enjoy the bristles because this type of bristles tend to actually poke me in the eyes sometimes. <laughs> Formula wise, it hasn't given me any irritation. It definitely gives me what I need. Um, and this is definitely a, a good second favorite. Stay tuned till the very end because I'm gonna save the best for last, guys. And when I say it's the best, it's the best. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited I found that mascara. So stay tuned. Next one is the CoverGirl Professional 3-in-1 Mascara. So this is what it looks like right here. It's three in one because it's supposed to be volumizing, lengthening, and defining mascara. Um, it is hypoallergenic, safe on the eyes, safe for contact lens wearers, and it is cruelty free. This is $6.99 again at Ulta. I bought all of the mascaras at Ulta because they have both high end and low end mascaras or drugstore mascaras. What I like about this is again, that feeling it gave my eyes. Very hydrating. I think that's what stands out the most. And I love the curved wand. I think the curved wand definitely helps, you know, lift those lashes a lot better. I have to say it's not my favorite. In terms of volumizing and lengthening, I would say they're about two to three out of five stars. Um, it is smudge proof. So. I really love that the mascaras I got are smudge proof. Like none of them flaked on me all day. As far as retaining the curl goes, it's not as good as retaining the curl. So maybe three out of five stars. Formula wise guys, I think if you have very, very sensitive eyes, CoverGirl and the Pacifica one is the way to go. I think this is one of the best if you have sensitive eyes. The fourth mascara is by Pipe Beauty. And this is the most expensive of them all. It's $18. Look at the packaging. It's purple um, and it comes in two colors. It comes in blue and it comes in black. Um, this is one of the first mascaras that I found that have color in them. Comment down below if you know other brands that carry colorful mascaras. I'm sure it's out there. But as far as hypoallergenic mascaras, this is the one that I found. So if you're looking for like a colorful mascara, something fun for the summer, definitely try this. Actually, this is such a fun color. I love the blue. I'll post a picture of it right here. Um, but it's a 12 hour mascara. So it's pretty long lasting. And what I like about this is that it's made of 30% recycled material. So it's made of sustainable packaging, which I love if you care about that and you really wanna to stick to something sustainable, environmentally friendly, definitely try this. I love the packaging. This did not irritate me at all, guys. Definitely amazing when it comes to that. However, 
the volumizing and the lengthening has to be like two out of five and you can kind of see that in the pictures i mean i tried to apply this up to three times and it was just not helping with the volume and lengthening it just stayed the same so it's not my favorite there was no flaking however and i would say the curl did not stay as long so i would say it's about two out of five stars great color payoff i mean when you're in the dark or in limited lighting it seems as though your mascara is black but when you go in the sun your eyes will look like it has a purple liner right across so i love that about it i'm gonna bring this on my trip to vegas because i think that would be like something really fun to do and it's not like that colorful where it's like pink or yellow right it's just blue very close to black yesterday i tried to wipe it off and it did not come off easily um there was no bleeding you know how when you remove your mascara like sometimes it bleeds right under your eyes this one was not i would say i would count on this to be very waterproof even though it doesn't really say that it is waterproof if i'm not mistaken let me show you guys the pipe beauty mascara it has an hourglass shape and look at that fun blue shade right there but it did not wow me as far as the lengthening goes i think volumizing wise it's not bad at all but the lengthening was kind of Mm -mm. the last mascara guys is by morphe i saved the best for last it's what i have on so if you can see that i love how lengthening and volumizing it is the morphe make it big mascara and how of all the mascaras <laughs> i wish i got the full size this is 12 dollars full size eight dollars for a mini it is ophthalmology tested and it's safe for contact lens wearers and according to reviews 100 percent of people thought that it gave instant volume and lengthening at first pass i totally agree a lot of the mascaras that i've tried here i had to apply two to three coats for it to actually show and become significant this one guys at first pass is already lengthening it's already volumizing like i can see my lashes right away and i'm so excited i mean i was like whoa where have you been i don't think this is new from morphe but i can't believe i've been living under a rock and not have known about this and i'm always rooting for affordable makeup brands so i'm so glad that I was able to try this. And out of the five that I've tried, it's the best. Lengthening, volumizing, five out of five. Smudge proof, there was no flaking, five out of five. The curl, it retained the curl. You know, I would say, I would give it some leeway and say it's about four out of five. Here's the wand, hourglass shape. It is a little goopy at the end. So that's the only thing you need to be careful about but as far as the wand goes this is the type of wand that i actually gravitate towards so i really like it but there's something magical about this wand it's it's really amazing it's very comparable to my most favorite mascara of all the lash paradise by l'oreal if not even better because it's actually safe on the eyes so for those of you who have sensitive eyes you need this in your life i mean this is the number one and if you have the same problem as me with short lashes lashes that are drooping down this is the one for you so highly highly recommend it and it also comes in a mini size so if you just want to try it first and who knew like morphe right morphe's not high end but it's not also drugstore it's somewhere in the middle so i feel like yes Finally, I found one that's very comparable. Out of the five, my top two has to be the Morphe and the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. So these two guys is my top fave. But if for whatever reason, there's some type of micro ingredient in here that does not work for your eyes, I've got three other ones that are worth trying that are perfect for sensitive eyes. And if you want color, check out Pipe Beauty. This is a new brand to me. And when it came up in my search for hypoallergenic mascaras, I was like, heck yeah, I'll give it a try. And I love color, so yes. So that is it, guys. What do you guys think of 
this review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxing here and there. Comment down below which mascara are you going to try. If you have sensitive eyes, what mascara are you currently using? Share it in the comments below. Let's all learn together. If you want to watch more hypoallergenic mascara recommendations, make sure to check my video from last year. It's still very current and I've been getting really positive comments from everyone. So definitely check that video out as well. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye.